Dr. Rebecca Bailey. I'm a psychologist in Northern California who works with complex trauma cases and also does trainings for law enforcement and judges, etc. My name is Frank Davis. I'm a licensed psychologist. I work with um, a lot of children and families involved in court to get to the next level of therapeutic work to know more about yourself. A lot of us psychotherapists have trained to be very analytical. They said this would be a good balance and way to integrate your work is to start working with horses because they teach you more how to be aware of your body um, and trust your intuition more. My journey began uh, 13 years ago when I was rescued from an 18-year abduction. Um, we came to a ranch where I met Dr. Rebecca Bailey and she was working with horses already. And I just, I've always had a real love of animals and so horses was a natural like, I'm staying kind of thing. Sometimes it's hard to look people in the eyes when you just come out of trauma. And you know, being with the horses and interacting with them and doing horse related activities has brought up my confidence has enabled me to create relationships that I didn't think that I could make and has really enhanced my life in so many ways. So horses have become very important in my life um, because in 2017, my husband murdered my two children before he hung himself. And horses became a therapeutic connection. I needed added therapy. Horses to me are my comfort zone and I feel safe and it's a place where I can be vulnerable and really just have a connection. That just means so much to me. Having horses in my life has made an amazing impact on my life just in how I interact with people. In general, they, they've taught me to find the connections that I wasn't able to make on my own. And it really is about learning about yourself and what you need to make connections in the world. There's different orientations, but the work we do, it's really all about understanding and getting in your body to help then interpret how maybe you are interacting in the world. With the populations we work with, we find complex trauma uh, to be accessible through this type of work brings a lot of the way we work, we bring a lot of humor and play, as well as awareness of your own internal body responses. Horses are definitely their own beings. They have their own way of looking at the world and we learn a lot from them. They have their own instincts and they don't have the filters that humans have. So when they show up, they are who they are. There's nothing influencing them from being present in the moment, and that's the biggest thing I think horses teach us. They're prey animals, so they're, they're, they're inclined to always scan their environment, and when someone's approaching, they're always assessing, even in their body language, is this person friendly, is this person intense? And they're always giving cues to the person if they're aware um, as to whether they're calm and uh, regulated or whether they're too intense. What horses do, in my opinion, is they get you back into your body because it's all about, you have to feel what's going on inside of you before you can work on what's going on mentally with you. I started the Jace Foundation with Dr. Rebecca Bailey because I believe strongly that a therapist is needed in this type of work when, when you're working with people that have gone through a lot of trauma. Um, animal assisted therapy is great, but you really need somebody kind of guiding you through and a therapist is great for that. It's hard to explain unless you actually experience it, but I've seen, you know, people like to project a lot about what the horse is doing and they do bring out a lot of emotion in people, especially, you know, when you're going through some, something and it's in the forefront of your mind. They're very large animals and sometimes that can be intimidating. So like, I think they bring a, up a lot of emotions in people. I think they bring, you know, whatever you're thinking about or having trouble that day, they bring that out in you and help bring up things that we might not know is below the surface or is brewing and we need to work through. Um, so they bring a different element than what you can get from traditional talk therapy. You know, when you lose someone, um you kind of armor up and you just, you know, block people out or you kind of just 
you don't want to be vulnerable or let people in because you're afraid of getting hurt. And so with horses, they've really allowed me to open up and just let them into my world and they kind of let me into their world. And it's just this incredible connection you can't, put, you can't put into words because there is no words. There's a series of what we say are aspirations for the work. So for example, the number one most important thing is we want people to internalize a feeling of safety and connection. And believe it or not, a lot of people, for whatever reason, will come to our program and they don't know what that feels like. I will say when we know we really have a win is when people come and work at, with the horses and work with us with the horses where they come feeling transformation. Whether it's the ability to tolerate their ups and downs of their nervous system or whether it's a problem solving situation, something shifts. We have people who uh, are individuals who come for a specific thing that's bothering them. Uh, we work with groups, we work with law enforcement officers, we work with uh, other mental health professions, and we do work with families. So there's many different schools of equine-assisted interventions. There's actually a lot of discussion around the correct verbiage, but there's many different ways of incorporating horses into interventions. What's really exciting about where the field is right now in equine assisted interventions is different theoretical orientations in the field can apply incorporating horses into their work. So cognitive behavioral therapy, dialectic, dialectical behavior therapy, and other orientations can incorporate in with the interventions. The common denominator is always the incorporation and the assistance of equines. When we can pair the right person with the right horse, that's when the magic happens. Emotions being uh, brought up to the forefront. Tears, laughter, the real transformational things. Something that people don't often talk a whole lot about in equine interventions is play and humor. You can't make it happen, but when it happens, it's amazing. And it's usually very organic. I think one moment came when it was a particularly hard day and it was hot, I remember. And, you know, it just was one of those days that it was hard to connect with anything around me. And Rebecca had a dog named Sky, and um, she brought a ball in. And um, I just started bouncing the ball and then Velcro, her horse, um, came over and started batting the ball back to Sky, and then I would throw it to the horse and we just kind of played ball and it was just this amazing uh, experience of joy, you know, it wasn't, it, nothing was really happening, but something was happening internally for me and, and after that I just, I felt like, like I had more confidence experience I've had with a horse that really kind of shifted my perspective um, on something was a very special horse named Velcro who decided to start laying down for me um, back in June, uh, early June. I didn't know what was going on and it scared me because she would lay flat like she was dead, <laughs> like not moving. And so my heart would start racing and I was like, oh my god, this actually reminds me of my kids, you know, passing away. So over the next couple of weeks, um, talking with other individuals, I had a different perspective on it. And it was more like she was trying to help me replace an image that I created in my mind, that there was like a peaceful image that I could now replace the old one with. I saw a different perspective and it was like an image I had created in my mind, like a horrific one, to a more peaceful one. And to watch her lay down in that peaceful state was just incredible. And I could, you know, watch her from a distance and I could get closer and eventually closer to her as the weeks progressed. And then I ended up sitting next to her. And it was just an incredible feeling. So on the anniversary, I was sitting next to her and then I just started to just cry in the middle of the ring. And it was just the two of us. And it was like just the most amazing, powerful 
release that I could have had and I just kept repeating like I didn't want them to go I didn't want them to go and I didn't know where that came from but it was just something that I experienced with just velcro and I and there was like no one else around and it was just really healing For someone that's skeptical of therapy involving horses, I'd start with don't knock it till you try it. Um, there is a lot of research out there that shows the, the benefits of equine assisted therapy or, or any kind of therapy involving horses. You have to find your herd, get with the right people who can not just throw you into the, you know, in a barn or in an arena with a horse or put you on a horse in some dangerous way. You do have to find the right professionals, just like any other modality. If you're trained well enough or supervised well enough, it's life changing, that's all I can say, without being like dogmatic. So for anyone who hasn't experienced this unique way of getting to know yourself better, I really encourage you to check it out. It's whether you've been through an extreme trauma, whether you're dealing with anxiety, whether you're struggling with connection, it's a really wonderful way to be able to get back in touch with your own nervic nervous system and ground yourself and regulate yourself. I also think that they can bring a tremendous amount of connection to the world and they have a lot to teach us. So my message to anyone that has gone through a traumatic event or is looking for any kind of equine therapy or, or kind of questioning it or don't know what it's about, I would say give it a chance because it's absolutely amazing and it could change your life.